Hey everybody, we got a sighting of the elusive Nefster today. He's our pretty boy. He is a pretty big boy. Our little Maine Coon, not really little. He's our, uh, our token boy we keep around here. He looks good, but he's not very useful. His mom and his sister are way better hunters. So, okay. So apparently, Some of y'all are, uh, hi ma'am, hang on. Hi babies, what's going on? What's going on, Marilla Bella? What's going on, little baby? What's up with the scratches, huh? Hi. Hey, B. Hey, Annabelle, hey, Lenore. Sorry, that's enough of the, the cuteness. Let's get to business. So, uh, apparently, some of y'all are, um, are looking to me to comment, commentate upon other women's living situations or relationship situations. Look, I am not that bitch, okay? I am not here for that. I am here to liberate us all together from fucking patriarchy. And the women you're going to hear me talking about, unless I'm shading them and not naming their names because I don't give a fuck about what they're doing, are women that I respect. That's who I'm going to call out. That's who you're going to hear names about. That's who you're going to hear me put in my community tab and tell you to go watch their channel. That's what you're going to see in the descriptions. You're going to see links to stuff that I think is important for you to go fucking watch. So, um, having said that, having said that. The feeling of discomfort some of you may be experiencing is possibly cognitive dissonance, right? So I'm telling you stuff that you don't want to hear. Because when I tell you this stuff, and if you believe me, you don't think I'm full of shit, or even if I am full of shit, but on this particular point, I'm not lying to you and I am telling you the truth, then, uh, what does that mean for you personally? Not what does it mean for some other woman in another situation? What does it mean for you? Does it mean that your life might have to change? Maybe not even change, right? Let's like, let's slow your roll. Okay. There's no need to be in a hurry. Take your time with it. But listen, if this stuff is pissing you off, but you keep coming back, I think that means you're here because you want to hear it. And I will tell you, I did not start off this, uh, what the fuck, enlightened being dealing in chicken poop all day like my lucky ass gets to do. That is not how I started off. I was once a shit, f I'm not kidding you guys when I'm telling you I was a shit lib femme, okay? And I started reading, come here, Marilla, come here and be cute. Come here, baby girl. Come here, baby girl. I started off reading and watching, reading books, um, watching blogs, or reading blogs. That was the, the, the era of the blogs. Um, and I was getting pissed by what I saw. But there was something about it, you know? Like, it kept sticking in my mind and I kept coming back to it or I'd pick up another book and read that and... Oh, man, and, and gradually, and then all at once. It's kind of like the collapse, right? It was gradually, and then all at once, um, it all started to fall into place, and I realized there was, you know, probably several oh shit moments. Like, I am not willing to put up with any of this shit anymore from males, ever, again. And uh, that doesn't mean that I don't have, I mean, you've watched the kitchen debacle, right? We still get shit from males, still. But there was a change that happened to me and I no longer tried to understand them, make excuses for them, um, include them in my life. I just, I just, I just gradually let it go. It doesn't have to be, I think, you know, you know how when little girls, when they, they hit their growth spurt um, in puberty and sometimes like your bones will ache, right? Or we get stretch marks on us because the growth is happening so fast. 
maybe that's what um maybe that's what that feels like inside too like that really intense feeling of discomfort and and the anger i can see some of you displaying whether you know it or not like um um yeah you, you know and into this i i got to just say you know i have to the best of my and my wife's ability removed my need to roll around in the mud with the pigs the pigs being males um don't get mad at me because i'm you know i look clean to you okay it took a good lot of scrubbing to get this way i didn't start off this way and above all I mean, you could be mad about it, but above all, do not attempt to drag me into the fucking mud with you. And that includes asking me to comment about what other women, individual fucking women, are doing with their lives, okay? Jesus. I see you. I see you. Look in the mirror. Look in the damn mirror. Take your time with it and stop lashing out at everybody around you. Look within. I said yes all men. I mean yes all men. I like to watch, uh, I get, you know, I have many lol cows that I follow on the internet just because um, I'm fascinated by internet culture. And one of them is this, uh, he's about 500 pound gamer dude that I watch edited videos of him. And today he was talking about something I hadn't really considered for a, he's a horrible racist, homophobe, awful person. And uh, he was talking about Grand Theft Auto, the video game Grand Theft Auto, right? We've all heard of this. Well, apparently there's now an option to have a, I don't know if it's new, a, a female character. And he said, well, how the hell are you going to beat up the hooker and get your money back and assault her if you're playing as a woman, right? So there's another one to check off your not all men list. Ch does your dude play video games to any extent at all? Okay. <laughs> has your dude been to a strip club? Hired a hooker for a friend's birth, uh, uh, what do you call that? Bachelor party? Purchased a Playboy? Has your dude liked that porn on the web? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Where do you think all that stuff comes from? It comes from their brains. It's what they want to do. And you know what? The fascinating thing, this might sound like a tangent, but I swear to God it's not. It goes back to my yes all men theory. I like to see these, these worlds, right? That these uh, games take place in. I'm just fascinated with like, I, I used to try to do Second Life, but there was always trannies coming in and jacking off in the middle of me trying to build some cute thing, whatever. So, um, so I stick to Minecraft. <laughs> controllable environments <laughs> but um but these worlds that they play in nowadays are just amazingly realistic and just beautifully rendered amazing I, i'm i guess i'm i'm looking at things like it must be like call of duty i think is one of them i can't name any of the other ones it's all the same first person shooter but um i'm looking at these guys running around this you know semi-urban landscape and i'm thinking wow if i was in this game all I'd want to do is like wander around and look at stuff and explore everything. Explore all of it, right? Because you're just in this endless new world of somebody else's imagination. How fucking cool is that, right? But you know what they do? They spend the whole time knifing each other in the throat and setting, what are those mines? Claim more mines for each other and sniping each other. Like that, that that's how they want the world. This vaguely post-apocalyptic urban landscape that's their version of paradise and the only women in it are hookers that are getting beat up on the regular and robbed okay they've made these worlds you can go and look at them that's what they want that's what's popular i think knowing one's enemy is important and that's why i'm telling you this that's why i'm taking time out of my busy day <laughs> to tell you this I'm sorry if it's making you mad, but I can't stop. And I don't think you want me to either. And if you hung in this whole time, oh my God, I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. I'm trying to talk longer. 
trying to be a little more long-winded for better or ill. Because <laughs> um, I think the repetition is important. <sighs> and I think these varied examples might spark something in you that finally makes it go all at once. So take your time, have some patience with yourself. Don't try and drag me into that drama shit because I won't do it. The only drama I got around here is what's going on with the fucking birds. And everything's been chill today. Have a great day. Bye, gals.